Hello and welcome back to some more Project Zomboid as we continue our 28 days later challenge. Let's just stop this alarm. I've woken up nice and early so we can take advantage of any TV shows that come on this morning. And yesterday we had a pretty successful haul at the warehouse. So today I'm going to spend some time around the farm. I want to barricade up some of these windows. And being that it's raining as well, I want to take advantage of the farming. So now weight wise i can see that we've dropped down to 79 we need to keep a close eye on our weight so i'm going to take advantage and uh, cook something up this morning and try and get some more calories into shiny now with the new update that's incoming build 42 the whole cooking process is going to have a huge overhaul now let's just take advantage of this tv show this morning and get some free xp yeah, almost hit level three with cooking now, so always taking advantage of the TV shows when you can. So let's get something cooked up. I'm going to use this big pan and let's just fill. We'll fill up everything so it fills our water bottle as well. I can hear we're losing pressure on the water, so the water is about to go off soon. So that's something else we're going to have to worry about in the future. And let's just cook something out we're just standing near the cupboards so we should be able to grab out everything out of the cupboards um yeah, there we go let's do some pasta and we want to get some sort of meat in there as well got that fish just left on the side let's use that up before it goes rotten so we're doing a fish pasta and put some more fish in there and what else can we put in there? Let's add a little bit of wine. Hopefully put some white wine in there. Nope, Shiny's gone and put some red wine in with fish. That doesn't go shiny, but never mind. I'm sure it'll be edible. Well, at least hopefully it's going to be edible. <laughs> I know with Build 42, the whole cooking thing is going to get a major overhaul. And I'm looking forward to that update. But there really is quite a lot of depth to Project Zomboid as it stands and I'm pleased to be showing this one off on the channel. Let's put some tomato paste in there. So we've got a tomato pasta. Let's just shove this in the cooker. Get that cooking up and a huge pot of pasta like this is going to keep us going all day and probably tomorrow as well. Let's just turn that on. Okay, need to take that off before it starts burning. And like I say, we really do need to keep an eye on our weight. If we go under, I think it's 75, then we'll be underweight and we'll lose fitness. And again, if we go over 85, we'll be overweight and really just need to keep an eye on all of that stuff because it does affect your fitness and your ability to fight off zombies. So at the moment, we're well fed. So let's grab some of these giant metal sheets that we managed to get yesterday and we've also got the propane torch and a welding mask so this is going to be great for barricading the windows I'm not quite sure how many windows we've got outside but get these up and if we do get a horde of zombies come our way it's certainly going to give us a lot more time to think about fighting them off or escaping grab one of these propane torches here and go around and barricade these windows. Now, for the time being, I've just been making do with sheets. And that's okay. It does stop them being attracted to your position. But it's not going to stop them smashing through, as we've already experienced. So, number two, we've got one around this side. So you can barricade things from the inside as well as the outside. And these metal sheets really do hold up. And I've managed to grab enough of them to get the whole downstairs boarded up. As you can see, I've boarded this one up from the inside. If we put this on the outside, then this is going to be a pretty strong barricaded window. And if I remember rightly, we've got one more window just round in this little laundry room area. So 
the farm is definitely a little bit more defendable with all of these barricades reinforced now. Okay, let's get on with some farming. So being that it is raining, we're going to take advantage of the rain and at the warehouse we managed to come across a few more packets of seeds. So of course as time goes on the power is going to go off, food's going to start rotting and we're going to have to become self-sufficient. So now's as good a time as any. I've just got a little trowel, we're going to dig some furrows. While you're digging furry furrows you get worms and things, you can use that as bait for fishing. But I'm going to do like, I don't know, four patches here. I've got four different types of seeds and we've got this nice area next to the farm to put a vegetable patch down so let's just do four of these. Okay, that should do it. Now I'm also going to place down these buckets and watering cans so they can start capturing water. I need to improve my carpentry so we can get a water collector but got all of these watering cans. I picked up all of these as well so for the time being they'll fill up with water while it's raining and we should be able to keep all of these plots well watered. So I'm going to plant a different crop in each of these now, when it comes to getting XP from farming, you don't actually get any XP until you actually harvest your crops. And the higher your farming level, well, the more you'll get back, the more seeds you'll get back. And you can also get diseases with your plants as well. So the more levels you have in farming, the you have an ability to spot which kind of disease it is and there's ways to put pesticides down and yeah just grow more produce so let's just shove some tomatoes down here all of these different seeds will grow back at different times if I remember rightly the potato seeds they take the longest to grow let's shove some carrots in a little bit of a mix of all sorts that we've got here and so being that it's raining, all of these crops are going to get well watered and that saved us another job. Shove some potatoes in here. Going to be golden. Like I say, now when the power goes off, any of the stuff that we're finding in the fridges is going to be rotten and we'll be down to canned produce. And we really want to be doing some farming before the power goes off if we can otherwise we might have to shift shiny onto the dog food I don't think she'll be happy about that okay so we got some plants in nice let's get back inside the warm okay well just getting to the afternoon there will be a TV show on here but I want to take advantage and do some reading and I think if we do carpentry volume 2 let's get an XP boost on that because carpentry is something I really want to level up as fast as I can and yeah we got a carpentry show on so we're taking advantage of both reading the book and the TV at the same time here so Shiny has got the slow reader trait. It's one of the negative traits that we've taken. Actually sit down and read this book. I think we might spend the rest of the day catching up on Carpentry Volume 2. Because I really need to get to level 4 so we can start building stuff around the base. Well, we spent most of the day reading. We've managed to finish off that book. And it's getting late, so let's get some sleep and not a bad day's progress really so yes yeah, just get some sleep well i did forget to set the alarm this morning unfortunately so we missed the morning tv show 
I'd like to be up nice and early, but at least Shiny's well rested. She's hungry and also needs a cigarette. It's getting a bit stressed out here, so let's grab one of those. And of course, we've got that pasta left over from yesterday. So we can enjoy that nice, fresh fish pasta. It was made with red wine. <laughs> we'll just finish all of that off, I think. Okay. And the weather has also made a change this morning as well. A little bit sunnier today. And that sounds like the helicopter event. Okay. Yep. So we need to get out of this area as fast as we can. This helicopter is going to draw every zombie towards our position. So we need to get as far away as we can. Came a little bit earlier than I was expecting. I know it can happen within the first seven or eight days. And this helicopter is just going to follow us around and it's just going to draw every zombie in the area. So we just need to get out of here. Last thing we want is our farm being overrun, especially as we've now put all of the work that we have into getting it done. Just have to drive over these. So it's actually quite a good position to be at the farm. Well, it can be. <laughs> I didn't intentionally set out to set up a base at the farm, but it's kind of ended up that way. And I think if we just head out of town, and we can also use this helicopter up to our advantage. If I can get on the other road towards the McCoy's logging camp, I might be able to drag a load of them out of town. So we'll just cut through here. This brings us onto a little back road. There's all of this woodland area, so come up here and then go back down. Might be able to drag a load of these zombies away from the town. We're going to end up coming through the woods towards our position. Let's just head down this way. And try and avoid this. So they're all going to be coming out of the trees and sort of coming away from the town position. So in some respects, we can use the helicopter to our advantage and hopefully drag some of these hordes away from the town. Let's just check where we are on the map. We roughly level with the farm area. Yeah, kind of. I'm going to carry on coming back down this road, head towards the crossroads. See if we can't encourage some of them to walk that way. So there's McCoy's just up there. It's uh, another good spot to get if you're in Moldra as a early game sort of place. But it can be, can be somewhere I have set up in the past. Let's just keep coming. Yeah, I can see that. Getting a few of them towards us now. This helicopter is going to pretty much stay on us for most of the afternoon. Um, I'm going to carry on going down towards the crossroads because my memory serves me collect correctly. There's the garage just at the end of that and there was loads of zombies just at that crossroads. Carry on heading this way. Okay. Yeah, they're sort of all going to be getting stuck in the trees. And now that I've done this, the last thing I want to do is end up running through the trees. So we got to the crossroads here. And what I want to do is sort of draw them up this way. So I guess we may as well honk the horn as well and get them to start coming up this way. And hopefully away from the town. Let's check this map again. Yes, just on the bottom of that main road there was quite a lot of zombies. Hopefully I'm dragging them all up this way and might make it easier to raid later on. Just a bit of 
bit further up here. I'm just going to sort of hang around this spot and hopefully draw them out to my position. Yeah, I can see a few coming through the trees there. Well, I've risked hanging around here long enough. Last thing I want to do is get mobbed and as you can see there's quite a few of them. Let's just try and weave our way around them. And I'm just going to carry on down this road. In theory I just want to bring anything from the main town on our left over onto this road. Let's just carry on going down here. Oh. So we've got a barricade here. I don't think I'm really going to be able to get around that. A um, couple of police cars though that might be worth hot wiring. There's something to bear in mind later. I was hoping to do a full circle. Now we're going to have to come back through all of this lot. Ah oh dear. Okay. Let's see what we can do. I was hoping to do a full circle. to shift off. I can't really hang on this road anymore. I've dragged quite a few of them over here. Let's get back to the crossroads. Okay, let's just see what the main town looks like now. So just across the road here we've got the gas station. I mean, it's certainly looking a lot calmer. Quite a lot of them will be in the woods just to our right hand side there. Right, let's just let's just get away, get get down here. This helicopter's just not letting up today. It's on chasing us all over the spot. I think that's the school just there. I don't want to hang around here. Well, I think the event is over now and from the looks of it, it seems to have cleared out this gas station at this end. And I'm going to take advantage, grab some fuel. Yeah, just looks like there's two or three. Might even go and hotwire that prison bus. Yeah, it's looking fairly quiet, so helicopter has managed to drag all of the zombies away into the trees and I'm just going to take advantage of this. Nice. Nothing on that police officer. So we've got a couple more here. And like I say, you can use the helicopter event to your advantage and this gas station is a lot quieter now. And I might have a go at hot wiring that prison bus. So now that is a mod that we added on or added on and I guess thought the intention was if we managed to get through 28 days and the series proved popular perhaps you'd like me to move on to Louisville and the main city and like I say this map is pretty big and Louisville is like the main city, kind of based on New York. And looks like I'm on the wrong side. Okay. Just fill this up. And let's get this empty gas can as well. We'll fill that up. And I can use that to fill up the bus. So with a recent update, you can actually fill up gas from an empty bottle. Don't have to use the gas cans, which is kind of handy because you can use that to start vehicles. And prior to that, the only way to fill up your vehicles was with the gas can. But quite often you can stumble across a vehicle that's in good nick, but it doesn't have any fuel. And of course, Shiny is a burglar, so she already has the ability to hotwire vehicles. So it's open. And let's just check. See if we can find there's no keys, so we're going to have to hotwire this. 
and that's one of the advantages of being the burglar. You can hotwire vehicles from the beginning. And like I say, I don't know whether we'll end up using the bus, but should we decide to move on to one of the other towns once we've exhausted what we've got round here, well, we'll be able to fill up with a lot of loot. Let's just check what the state of this vehicle is in. Uh, yeah, I mean, like other than the gas tank condition, it's in pretty good nick. So, let's just grab that gas can that we filled up so we can actually get the bus started. Like I say, now they've changed it so you can use an empty bottle. It's, um, you can siphon gas and just get enough to get something started. But we've got our gas can, so let's just add this fuel. And while we have power still at the gas station, well, we can fill this bus up. Like I say, I should imagine i would be able to get quite a lot of stuff from our base packed into this bus, should we want to move on. But whether we'll do this in this playthrough, I guess it just sort of depends on how popular the uh, Let's Play ends up being. My main focus is just really just to put a highlight on this game because it's one that I've played for a long time and it is a lot of fun. Underneath it, there is, well, there's a lot underneath this game. It's actually, there's quite a lot of depth to it, believe it or not. Let's get this filled up. And, yeah, I think I'm on the wrong side, aren't I, as usual. Let's just get this turned around. Yeah, I can't seem to find the gas pump. Need to turn it round. Okay. Great. Now, being that this is all clear, we'll raid this as well. Might be able to find a lighter. Um gonna take all of this stuff so shiny has dropped some weight so candy and all of this is really good calorie wise and well being that we've got a bus now got plenty of space I'm gonna take everything that we can find tortilla chips all of that stuff it's all good for putting on weight Chocolate. We've hit the jackpot this time. Yeah, we'll take that as well. Some vitamins, painkillers, good stuff. Uh, I guess we'll take the sodas as well. May as well, I've got the space, the time to grab this stuff. Magazines worth reading. No. Uh, but we do have all of the maps, so we could learn all of the maps. Yeah, let's just read everything. Okay. Just grab them cigarettes as well. And now we've read all of the maps, we can... If we do decide to move from this position and continue on past 28 days, then... We do know in sort of what direction we can go in. More sweets and stuff here. This is the back room just through here. And yeah, we'll grab all of that. More cigarettes. Haven't come across a lighter. Just matches. But and cigarettes. And I will take these empty cans and get them filled up. And anything else here? Yeah, a couple of empty cans. Let's Grab both of them, we'll fill them up with fuel. Be good for a generator. And I'm not sure if I've got like a tire pump. I'll take mechanics volume two. And I don't know, I may as well grab one of these tire pumps and a lug wrench just in case we need to do any vehicle maintenance. I'm not sure if we've got any back at base. So, one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to park this van, now it's all filled up, just sort of the entrance of the car park, somewhere zombies shouldn't really gather around it. We can 
can come back for this one later. So I don't want to be driving the bus around everywhere. And this should be fine. So we can come back and get our van later on. So we out come out and do some raiding, but I think we've really used this helicopter event to our advantage. We'll take the bus back to the farm and I say whether we use it or not, I don't know, but it's uh, just like one of their mods that we've added on and should we want to move on to Louisville or one of the other areas, then we can pack up, I would think, quite a lot of the stuff that we've found here and uh, bring it with us to set up a new base location. Now, there are things that we could add on with the bus mod. There's like roof racks that we can do. We can actually go a little bit Mad Max and put some stuff to fortify the bus as well. Let's get back to the farm though. Okay, just park that here and a pretty good find. So, it's ended up being a late one for Shiny, but we managed to get away from the base. It doesn't look like there's any zombies around. Let's grab all of these sweets and stuff. Pretty much hit the jackpot with this one. So I don't think getting weight is not really going to be a problem for Shiny. We'll soon bring the calorie count up now with the uh, haul of goodies that we've just got here. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just put this book away in the wardrobe with the rest of the other books. And yeah, it looks like I already got Mechanics Volume 2, but we'll shove it in there anyway. And Shiny's pretty tired and hungry, but I'm going to go and get some sleep because she's exhausted. I think we pretty much managed to turn things around. That helicopter event really worked to our advantage. We managed to draw everything away from the gas station. We managed to clear it out. On top of that, we've also got the bus back to base. So should we choose to move on from this position later on, then we definitely have that option open to us. But I hope you enjoyed that one. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.